departments across our state are angry tonight. They're pushing back against our state's new plan to slow the spread of coronavirus in nursing homes. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel says many local doctors believe the state's plan will actually put elderly Hoosiers at more risk, not less. As coronavirus has swept through Indiana nursing homes, killing dozens of seniors, some counties have responded by ordering a stop to all transfers, prohibiting nursing homes from moving residents from one facility to another to slow the spread of COVID-19. Yesterday, a bombshell as the state commissioner changed all that. I've issued an order authorizing that long-term care facilities allow the transfer, discharge, or transport of otherwise or otherwise relocate patients or residents in accordance with the plans and guidance from the Indiana State Department of Health. The health commissioner said this statewide order will help slow the spread of the virus by giving nursing homes permission to move patients, allowing them to group healthy residents together at some facilities and sick residents together in other facilities. Some local health departments say that is a big mistake. I'm disappointed. I mean, I just don't think this is a smart move. Dr. Donna Wilkins is the health officer in Delaware County, and Troy Abbott and Steve Wright are doctors who work at the health department in Madison County. We're concerned, we're disheartened and confused. We don't think it's good science, and we've talked to a couple infectious disease professionals and pulmonologists in the area, and they also agree with us. All of these longtime doctors say the state's new order flies in the face of common sense. When you're moving these patients around, that's not sheltering at home. That's, that's defeating the purpose of sheltering when you're moving them. We are the boots on the ground. We know what's happening in the nursing home. Dr. Abbott says a local nursing home recently wanted to transfer 29 healthy residents to another nursing home. Local health officials had a fit and insisted that those residents be tested. It turns out... 20 of the 29 actually tested positive for coronavirus. If I was a family that had uh, an uninfected facility right. and had a, had, a, had a loved one there, I would be very concerned that that facility would bring in someone that's not been tested into your facility and possibly contaminate that facility and your loved, loved one. The doctors tell 13 Investigates the health commissioner's decision to allow nursing homes to suddenly move an elderly resident to a new location puts seniors not just at risk for COVID-19, but for other serious health problems as well. It takes a while for a resident to feel comfortable in a nursing home. And so why would she want to do that and disrupt their lives? Studies have shown that people with dementia that are moved around don't do well at all. Dr. Wilkins was the first county health officer to issue an order prohibiting nursing homes from moving residents. The state says its order is more powerful. I want to make it clear that this order does supersede any order that is issued by a local health department and it will remain in, in effect through the duration of this public health emergency. That does not sit well with local health departments. It's supposed to be they support us. And now this has just been turned on its head. We're upset that we have the control taken away from us that we thought we were uh, independent. The administrator of the Delaware County Health Department is pleading with nursing homes there not to transfer patients right now. In fact, he sent those nursing homes a message just a little while ago saying, as far as I personally am concerned at this very moment, our order stands. And he's actually considering legal action against the state. You can see his full message to nursing homes right now at WTHR.com. Because they can't just be left in there 